Okay, so this is going to be a reading for my Aries for March 25th through April 1st. Thank you guys so much for joining me back on my channel. We're going to get straight into your reading, guys. Aries from March 25th through April 1st. Also, if you'd like to get a personal reading done by me, please make sure you do check out the description box. That information will be listed below. And also, if you'd like to check out the extended version of this reading, it also will be on Patreon, okay? So let's go ahead and get straight into your messages for this week, guys. What I will say right off the bat, this week will be very healing um some of you guys you may be getting into a partnership that may also be bringing in this healing energy so i would definitely keep a lookout for that if you are someone who's single and you're looking for someone to mingle with all right but overall i feel like there is some healing energy coming in because a lot of you guys are finally releasing those emotions are finally releasing things that don't serve you and some of you guys are moving into a celebratory mood because you've gone through this whole releasing and purging energy already and now it's just time for you guys to cultivate these blessings for yourself all right I also see that a lot of you Aries have been working on bringing in more abundance into your situation, whether that's financially, abundance in love, abundance in happiness, okay? Abundance is different for everyone. That is something I do want to throw out there when I do mention abundance. Abundance means a lot of something. So it doesn't always necessarily mean money. It just means you have a lot of something. So a lot of you guys, like I said, you guys have been manifesting some changes for some time here you guys have been striving to put harmony or put things back in place and some of you guys are realizing that everything that you speak out into the universe is going to manifest so some of you guys this week what you will benefit from is maybe saying some affirmations when you wake up to keep you focused also making sure that you watch what you say as well so that you don't you know manifest some negative shit into your life but I feel like a lot of you guys have been doing your affirmations. You have been voicing to the universe what you've been wanting for some time. And you've been trying to, like I said, remove yourself from any sort of chaos that's been being brought to you. And the universe is going to answer your prayers this week with some really big blessings, all right? It's going to be different for everyone. The blessings may come in a form of a job, um... An idea, it's going to be different for everyone. All right, so let's right? go ahead and do the rest of the spread. So, Aries. What's going on with my Aries? For March 25th through April 1st. Aries from March 25th through April 1st. All right, the energy for this week for Aries. The challenge for my Aries from March 25th through April 1st. The guidance for my Aries for this week for March 25th through April 1st. How they can get the most out of this week. And positive things that are happening or are going to happen for my Aries from March 25th through April 1st. All right, so let's go ahead and get straight into it. Um, what we do have for the energy for the week, we do have the Four of Swords. So some of you guys, you may be taking some time to reflect. Um, this may be like taking a break from work, taking a break from a relationship for some of you guys, um, or this could be you guys being in this meditative state to figure things out. You may be trying to gain your strength or recharge for some of you guys so that you guys can keep pushing forward here. But some of you guys also, the energy this week is you guys taking a break from situations and really pulling yourself back on situations where... 
you had a really bad past with someone, this person may be trying to come in or this may be someone who, again, you may have a soulmate connection with, but again, you guys may have had a bad past and you may be unsure about whether or not you guys can move forward here and you really just don't know. All right. But the challenge for this week, we do have the Page of Wands. And clarifying the Page of Wands, we do have the Empress card. So some of you guys, this could be you guys keeping that same momentum when it comes to your abundance here. Some of you guys have a lot of great ideas and you really want growth, but it's going to require you guys to keep that momentum and making sure that you guys are not just... Putting your energy out there scattered. So some of you guys, the challenge this week is to make sure your energy is not scattered here, all right? Make sure your energy is not scattered. And for some of you guys, it's going to be important for you as well to make sure that you guys are working on your communication so that you guys can get this growth within your relationships work whatever it may be just making sure that you guys are like up to par that may be the issue this week keeping that same energy but um what i am seeing for the guidance we do have the two of wands so the guidance here for you guys clarifying the two of wands we do have the eight of wands so the guidance here is for you guys to determine which way you're gonna go to receive the best results in and moving forward, excuse me. I don't know why I can never talk. The guidance here is for you guys to figure out which way you want to go to move forward or to receive these blessings the universe is trying to offer you. I feel like you guys do want forward movement, but you guys are having to decide how to get that. I hope that makes sense. Um, Because some of you guys are very confused or you may have a lot of options that are presenting itself to you. And you may not be sure which one is going to give you that real fulfillment, all right? You may be also confused emotionally and needing to move forward here, all right? But, um, yeah, there's some decisions you guys are needing to make this week. Also, making sure that you guys are keeping your balance, all right? Keeping your balance. Um, but what I am seeing for how you guys can get the most out of this week, we do have the Eight of Cups. Clarifying the Eight of Cups, we do have the Three of Pentacles. So walking away from situations that emotionally do not make you happy and where you are not the main priority, especially in your relationships. For others of you, this could be like in a job, a job sense where you're emotionally not happy with what you're doing and you may be having to make a head over heart decision about your finances for others of you like i said so you can get the most out of this week walking away from things that don't work for you focusing your energy on things that you do need to tackle and making some head over heart decisions all right about your connections here and focusing on your sense of stability because i feel like there is some positive changes coming in for you guys um there also may be some potential love offers coming in possibly from a water sign or an air sign that may be more stable and may require a little bit of work um in time but it's all about you really and truly about your decision this week about what you want to do with this person or these people coming in here okay and the last card this is going to represent the positive things that are happening or are trying to come in for you this week we do have the seven of wands the nine of pentacles and the justice card so the positive things that are trying to come in for you this week, Aries, if you've been putting up a fight to, again, be financially stable, or you've been like really trying to push forward here past any sort of adversity, past any sort of obstacles, I am going to see financial stability here and balance. Um, and I'm also seeing where you guys may have been fighting for a relationship and you guys may have been single for some time or fighting to get love in your life. I am seeing that the universe is going to make a lot of wrongs right. And I feel like you guys kind of already have an idea of these blessings that are coming forward to you because you guys have been kind of putting things into work. So some of you guys, all you have to do is really just sit back this week all right but what i will say you do need to leave the past where the past is because also with this card what i will say if a past person is trying to come in maybe another fire sign 
you just want to leave that person where they're at all right okay so let's go ahead and see what's going on with the cross watcher what's going on with my aries cross watcher what are their actions for this week towards them for march 25th through april 1st cross watcher their partner or the person in question Their actions towards my Aries for this week as well. And the outcome of this connection for March 25th through April 1st for my Aries and their cross watcher. Alrighty, so. Aries, your cross watcher, and I'm going to pull a romance angel card for them as well. Um, your cross watcher, the person that you're dealing with, okay, um, they're showing up as the queen of cups in reverse, the three of pentacles, and the six of cups, all right? Um, I really feel like this person is not very emotionally expressive. They may have issues with that. It may not even be because of you. For some of you guys, it may be because you guys had issues in the past. For others of you, this person is just not an emotional person. They don't really like to express. I feel like you guys will be communicating back and forth with this person this week, but somebody's holding themselves back from really giving their all, all right? Um, I am seeing that also for some of you guys, this person realizes that you are someone who has a lot of responsibilities and they may be realizing that about you. Um, and I feel like this person is also feeling a soulmate connection with you, but for some reason, this person may be feeling as if they have to be really patient with you because there is no sense of stability within this commitment. All right. And I'm also seeing somebody like trying to be financially dependent on the other person. I don't know if this is this person or you guys on them, but I am seeing issues here. This person may also feel as if they're not in a financial place to be with you. And for others of you, it could be vice versa. All right, but we're going to go on the other side and see what's going on with your person, guys. Um, if you do want to check out the extended version, the link will be listed below, and I will see you guys on Patreon, all right? Bye, Aries.